Hi, question number five. The following histogram illustrates the distribution of times in minutes that some students spent uh, taking a shower. Copy and complete the following frequency table for the data. Okay, first of all, what I'd like to um, bring to your attention is that if you need to find the frequency density for a, any histogram, the formula should be frequency density is equal to frequency divided by class width or the, the width, just the width of the, of the bars. Now the frequency here is frequency density is 10 so therefore if I need to find the frequency I can I can probably make a new formula here frequency is equal to class width multiplied by frequency density so the frequency density times the class width right so what is the class width from 2 to 4 it is 2 isn't it and 2 to 4 is 2 so you take 2 times 10 so 2 times 10 is going to give you 10 to 20 similarly you can do this for the second bar 6 minus 4 is 2 therefore 2 times 20 here 21 22 that's going to be 44 here's going to be 1 times 34 or it's going to be 34 the next one is 1 times 30 next one is going to be uh, 8 to 10 so that's going to be 2 the width 2 times 15 that's going to give you 30 and then you got 10 to 16 that is 6 times uh, the height here is 6 isn't it yeah 6 so 6 times 6 is 36 now this is the table that has been completed second part we need to calculate an estimate of the mean time for the shower now for the mean time of the shower you're going to take the midpoint of these times the midpoint between 2 and 4 is going to be 2 plus 4 divided by 2 is 3 so you're going to have to get 3 times 20 okay plus 4 times I mean 4 to 10 what is the midpoint between 4 sorry 4 to 6 4 plus 6 is 10 isn't it 10 divided by 2 is 5 so 5 times 44 plus the midpoint between 6 and 7 that's going to be 6.5 times 34 then plus the midpoint between 6 and uh, sorry 7 and 8 is going to be 7.5 so 7.5 times 30 and then plus between these here you're going to get 8 10 plus 8 is 18 18 divided by 2 is 9 9 times 30 and then you're going to do 16 and 10 so 16 plus 10 is 26 26 divided by 2 is 13 13 times 36 now you're going to take the total of all of that okay divide by the total number of frequency so that's going to be the mean over the frequency the frequency is going to be 20 44 34 30 30 36 so let's do that first so going to be there so we're going to say here we are 20 plus 44 plus 34 plus 30 plus 30 plus uh, 36 194 we're going to do all of that 3 times 20 is 60 so I've got 60 plus 5 times 44 plus 6.5 times 34 plus 7.5 times 30 plus um, 9 times 30 is 270 okay, plus 13 times 36 1464 so divide by 194 you're going to end up with 7.54 six three one nine and so on therefore the mean bar is going to be seven point five five and here we are to three significant figures okay so this is the second part of the question now for the third part two of these students are chosen at random find the probability that exactly one takes between seven to ten minutes 
Now between 7 to 10 minutes, we're going to look here, 7 and 10. All right, how many students do we have between 7 and 10? Here is 7, and here is 10. So 7 here, sorry. I'm going to take this as 7, and this is 10. So we've got 60 students. Two students were taken at random. We need to find the probability that exactly one of them spent between 7 and 10. Let us suppose that the first student has been taken from this group. 30 plus 30, so he's going to be amongst the 60 over a total of 194. Therefore, the probability that the first student takes um, between 7 and 10 minutes, between 7 and 10 minutes, is going to be 60 divided by 194. And then the second one is taking um, outside that range out of that range. So that's going to be then how many students are left. So 194 students is total minus the 60. That's going to make it 134. He's going to be amongst the 134 over a total of no more 194 but 193 because one was taken. Now this could be the other way around. It could be that the first student that was taken was out of that, of that range out of that range is going to be then 134 over 194 students and the, let us say the second one took between 7 and 10 minutes so he's going to be amongst the 60 students but this time over 193 okay because the total of 194 subtract 1 that has been taken away from it so you multiply these two probabilities here these two and then you're going to end up with two figures and you add them because it's either this one or that one. Alright, so what are we going to do? 60 times um, 134 okay that's 8040 divided by 193 times 194 it's going to make it 37442 so 8040 divided by the answer it's going to give this much times 2 because we have two of them all right, 840 over 3740, I mean 37442. So if you multiply these two or you add these two up, then you're going to end up with the probability that exactly, okay, one of them, okay, takes between 7 and 10 minutes is going to be then 2 times 8040 over 37442 which we have just found gave us 0 0.429 okay so this is two three significant figures and this question has been taken from October 2010 advanced level maths HSC statistics 1 and that was question number Five.